Okay, this video is about issues in subtraction in Key Stage 1. I think a lot of us teaching in Year 1 or Year 2 do find that there are some issues when children start to get into subtraction. They're fine with addition, throw a subtraction sign in, they start to get a bit wobbly. And if children are struggling with subtraction, especially in Year 2 when we get to harder subtractions, it's worth thinking about how they conceptualise it. A related question is whether or not we want children to do something like 58 subtract 32 in the same way that we want them to do 51 subtract 47. So taking those things, how can we help children not to struggle with subtraction? How can we move them on if they're having some conceptual difficulties here? I think the first thing to understand is that subtraction is two concepts. One concept is decrease, getting less, and one concept is difference. What's the difference between two things? So with very young children, we want to match those two conceptions, decrease and difference, with the two methods, the two strategies for doing those things. So we use counting back to find out how much less something is, and we use counting up to find the difference between two things. So with very young children, we've got a crocodile, we've got seven fish, and the crocodile eats three of them. How many have we got less? We're going to count back from seven. We've got seven, he eats one, two, three fish. We've got four left, okay? And that we do that, and we also do the inverse. So you take away three fish, let's imagine we haven't eaten them. You put them back, one, two, three, and you've got your seven again. So we've got the nice inverse of addition and subtraction there, and we are counting back to find how many are left. Also, we have, with young children, the very basic notion of difference. He's got six sweets, I've only got four, I'm going to cry. How many do you have to give me to make me happy? Well, four, five, six. So you have to give me another two. And what I am doing there is I am counting up. I'm counting from four to six to establish the difference. Counting up is where we know the starting point, we know the end point, what we're unsure about is how big the gap in the middle is. So going back to where I started with a year two problem, 51 subtract 47, I've got 47, how much more do I need to have 51? 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. I am counting up. By contrast, if I'm subtracting three from 47, I need to be counting back. 47, subtract 3, 47, 46, 45, 44. I am counting back. I should know at this stage that 3 off 7 leaves me with 4, so I should be using a number bond to get that answer. So understanding that subtraction is two concepts and that we use one concept for taking away, for decrease, and one concept is finding the difference or counting up Understanding that is fundamental to being able to do subtraction in, in, a, in a satisfactory way. And I think children do get that, especially if right from the start they're seeing that that subtraction sign does not always mean take away. The less we read the subtraction sign as if it says take away, the better. Because when we read it like that, we're leading to only one side of the issue, and that's not helpful. 